And know what's funny is, so one of the best questions I got asked at the Western Hunt Expo, so I was there working for you guys at the booth, and a guy came up and he's looking at, he was looking at the B2s, the 9x45s, he's looking at the spotting scopes, and he's like, why does Maven do do everything differently? Is that just the plan, you know, as far as, you know, the 9x45 and 11x45 and just the way, you know, say the spotting scopes focus and, and that, is that is that by design to try to just be a little bit different or is it just that's to make, you know, the product that you want to operate that way? You just kind of started from scratch and and made it make sense. Part of what really allows us to do that is the direct to consumer model. Um, you know, when we worked in the more corporate environment, you're really constrained by what the buyer at Cabela's, what the buyer at Sportsman's Warehouse, what they are looking for to fill a gap within their um, their optics counter or their compass counter or whatever. And innovation isn't necessarily what they're looking for. They're looking to fill a price point and a certain gap that they want to fill in between a $200 pair and a thousand dollar pair. They want a $600 pair that blends in. Um, we were able to sit down and really look from the product first and go, okay, if we make a great product and all we have to do is convince the consumer that it's great, we don't have to convince a middleman that he can make enough money off of it. Where do we want to start from there? And we have the um, benefit of being able to work with some really great engineers um, at our optics partners in Japan. And we sat down with them and we're like, hey, what would you build? Oh, no one ever asks us this. This this is the hot rod. This is what we would do. Like, Great. That kicks ass. Let's do it. Yeah. And so and then that... that- that goes all the way through how we run the business overall. Like we, we make what we want to make and then we do what we have to do to be successful with that. And so we don't have to do more. We don't have to start. We don't start with the success and then back into like, here's how much money we need to make. Here's like what our margin needs to be, blah, blah, blah. We figure out what we want to make, what it costs, then what, you know, what we have to make on that, you know, just put our margin on that. And we don't, we don't try to price it to fit in the market some space. Mm -hmm. Um, We just make what the best we can and sell it what we have to sell it for. And, let let the consumer reap that benefit. But our goal all along, and we've told you this on the podcast before, I mean, really our goal is to live in Lander and do the things we want to do. We want to raise our families here. We want to, and now that's extended to our employees and, you know, like we want them to be happy and successful, not just at Maven, but in Lander and, uh, you know, get out to do the things they love to do. And that, I think that's, it's true of our product. It's true of our atmosphere here. We, we're, it's, it's, hitting that goal first. Yeah, no, that, that makes, makes a whole lot of sense. And, and then Brendan, you're kind of the, the guy behind the design and the look and the feel of Maven, which is something that from day one has been attractive from, you know, the eye of seeing it. And I've always liked the, the branding aspect of it. And then, you know, with you and your team with Cody and Craig, just, it's, it's pretty cool. So is that, is that something that, I mean, Obviously, you're pretty passionate about it from we talked for, you know, four hours last night about a lot of this stuff. And you could hear it in your voice. It's like you're just as passionate now as, as you've ever yeah, been I about think, it. You know, <clears throat> like these guys were talking about with our <clears throat> where we came from and having to think about um, product development, um, what everything looked like through the buyer and then the consumer it was it, it's like you never felt like you were doing what you wanted to do you were doing what you thought might be cool or good mm-hmm. and now we get we control everything here you know i've got two guys we don't use any agencies for for the the creative side which is was my goal um when we started the company um two super creative guys that, that work with me every day. <clears throat> and you know, that, that I think is when you own it and all the decisions are in that room, um, you know, I, I think we have a good feel for, for what looks good and what people like, but we get to control all of it. And it's, it's such a fun job. Um, a lot of companies farm that kind of stuff out. You know, they work with creative agencies to do product design or ad design or web design, whatever. And we, we don't do any of that. Yeah. 
no, that, that, that makes a lot of sense. And even down to, you know, the, the naming of the hats, it's funny. It's always after people that, that you guys know and have some sort of experience with it. It always cracks me up seeing that, you know, the Jeff hat and, you know, they have go through it. It's just, it's not typical of what you would see from, from that standpoint. And just, again, from what I've learned is you guys don't operate in any sort of bucket. It's just kind of how, <laughs> how yeah, you want to That kind of stuff is what makes it fun for people, you know? Yeah. Most people go through the website and they look at the hats and they're like, what the, what, why the heck is a wheeler? Yeah. <laughs> and nobody ever, but it's, it's cool for us. It's all of our friends and yeah. you know, family or people that we've, we've met along the way. So hopefully there'll be a, a bow hat if we can figure out what's, what, what the bow hat is. <laughs> 